Can you imagine not having a new day ever again? What if the sun never rises again? Will there be a new sun to greet us every morning, or will we be doomed to eternal darkness? Our mighty sun is pretty old, and it's a ticking time bomb because it can explode any day. In today's video, we're going to discover what will happen if that happens and our sun disappears forever. Believe it or not, our sun is pretty old, about 10 million years old, and according to scientific research, it only has 5 billion years more to live. It is of course long into the future, and humanity may even not be there to witness that day, but let's suppose we are. Before we get on with this, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell icon to subscribe to our channel. Let's consider that instead of 5 billion years later, what if the sun were to explode tomorrow? Now luckily, our entire planet would not be destroyed, only the side facing the sun. The resulting shockwave would crumble half of our planet. For the lucky other half, they would experience a huge rise in temperatures. If you have been complaining about those hot summer days getting tanned by the sun, well, let's just say that isn't nearly as hot as it's going to get. You better stock up on some icy popsicles to cool off. And then there will be permanent darkness. Even the moon will not be able to provide us with any light because the sun no longer shines, so it can't reflect its light. Only our artificial lights would provide some glow to our planet, but it would be like you are walking around in the upside down, a realm of complete darkness. Now with the sun gone, what would our planet revolve around? Do you remember those theme park rides that take you off in a spin? Well, if you weren't a fan of them, you would not like this either. With the sun gone, the Earth and all the other planets in the solar system will lose the gravitational pull that kept them moving in a constant circle. And when that happens, Earth will just wander off into space. Meanwhile, the people remaining on the planet will be struggling to survive. It could be that Earth finds itself a new sun, but we have no idea who that star would be. But till then, with no heat source, the Earth's surface temperatures will begin to cool down, dropping down to minus 73 degrees Celsius in a year. The oceans will begin to freeze, and the planet will become a giant ice ball. However, there is a long time till we have to face an Ice Kingdom situation, which will certainly be like the doom that Elsa sent all over Arendelle. This is because the chances of the sun disappearing tomorrow are quite slim. There are still a few billion years till that is to happen. But this brings us to the big question. Why will the sun end up disappearing? How is it going to happen? Let's get straight into it. Like all stars, our sun is not immortal. These stars survive by burning some fuel that's present within them, and as a result, they produce a lot of heat and light energy. The source of our sun's power is hydrogen. It burns 600 million tons of hydrogen into helium through fusion reactions every second. But this reserve of hydrogen in the sun is not unlimited, meaning that one day it will run out. As more helium starts to build in the sun's core, the fusion reactions will begin to speed up, releasing way more energy than before. If you have been complaining about the heat up till now, well, these summer days are about to feel way cooler than what's coming. As we reach this point, nearly 4 billion years later, the sun will shine 40% brighter. Now there is a good excuse to spend on some high quality sunglasses. And with so much heat, the Earth's ice caps will permanently melt and the planet will become hot like Venus. When the hydrogen reserve is completely exhausted, the sun's outer layer will expand and will become a red giant. Its diameter will likely become twice as large as it is right now. It might even swallow the nearby planets, Mercury and Venus. If Earth manages to survive, the high temperatures will burn down the planet. If you are one of those people who enjoy fireworks or like to see the phenomenon of stars in the sky, you might like the idea of a supernova where a star explodes. It sounds pretty good to watch it if that star is a hundred billion light years away, but when it's your sun so nearby, chances are you will not even survive to see the supernova happen. Then, having such a dense core, it will start to pulse and become unstable. These pulses will remove the sun's mass until what's left is its cool core, called a white dwarf. The sun will spend its remaining days slowly cooling and dimming as time passes by, till nothing is left of it. We have seen the chaos this will cause in the solar system, where there will be no star left for the planets to orbit, and the entire system will be out of balance. Maybe that gives rise to a whole other system. But all this is very far into the future, so we can't tell exactly how things will unfold. Chances are, humanity won't even exist a few billion years from now. But if we come back to imagining if the sun were to disappear sooner, there are more important things to worry about. Is there a way we can survive without the sun? Now imagine if we knew the day the sun was going to explode, even if it's in the future and humans are still alive. That would give us a lot of time to prepare for that day. This doesn't mean you should start saying your goodbyes and make peace with yourself. 
but we are saying that you better be ready to pack your bags and move out, just a few meters below ground. The Earth is maintaining a temperature of 17 degrees Celsius, so if we had enough time to prepare, we could gather enough resources and build a civilization underground. That would keep us safe from the high temperatures as we live in a huge network of fortified bunkers for a few thousand years. Because the truth is, the dying process of the sun is going to take a long time, at least a few thousand years. And if we can survive through our resources and advanced technology, there is a chance our future generations might find a new star to call its sun. But even that's a big chance because the massive supernova that occurs when a star explodes can completely wipe off a planet entirely, so we might not even get the opportunity to start over. But what if you could live your fantasy Star Wars life? If you were fascinated with the Death Star as a kid, you might just become the next Dark Lord. Our future generations might be able to build a space station away from the Earth where life could continue once we know that the sun is in its last days. That would be a whole other world. Many theories suggest that our universe came about by the Big Bang. So then what if the explosion of the sun gives rise to some entirely new planets and systems? What if it forms a new species of humans that might be telling the same stories about their universe as us? Imagining what the world will look like billions of years from now is difficult. It's even harder to imagine a world where our sun doesn't exist. After all, what will be the solar system without its big yellow core? But one day, in the very distant future, the sun will explode and disappear. That is its natural course of existence. Who knows, it might leave room for a new star to form, saving us from a great deal of difficulty. Will the sun's disappearance completely wipe out our planet, or will we live to see the universe after the sun disappears? Could it be that the sun's explosion happens sooner than we thought? The answers to these questions will come with time, but one thing is for sure, we will lose our mighty star one day. Till then, we can continue appreciating what it provides us and continue to find a way to make sure our species survives.